Hello everyone, this is another video of me. I'm going to tell you about installing GMT5 and Ubuntu 20 LTS. Uh, let's get to work. First, uh, you need to go to GitHub. Uh, we need some information about downloading the GMT and so, so, some supplementary data. Uh, I'm just going to search my name here. You can search my name and last name without any spaces here. And if you search it in the result, in the left tab, you can see here the users. Uh, the second guy is not me, I think, but the first one is me. You just open the link. You can go to popular, you can see the popular repository, go inside the airspace technology, separated with dash. And uh, here, you can change the branch from master to GMT and there are some data just download the GMT sources the GMT dependencies and GMT file uh, we have a lot of work with these three files and let's just close this tab the first one you need to just download the GMT file here you can see the GMT file uh, if you go to this website, you can see the GMT5 is here. Just download the file, the DCW. You need to download DCW. You need to download the uh, GMT5, the latest version, and the GSHH uh, G for coast lines here. You need uh, this data because uh, it is completely necessary for, your, for compiling your GMT5. Just download them. You can see I have downloaded all of them here, GMT5. Just copy and paste these two directories inside the GMT5. Uh, let's just for better use, change them to DCW and GS, GSHHG. Uh, and let's go, I'm going to close that. Before doing anything else, you need to download and install these dependencies. You can just copy these dependencies into a new text file. I have all of them here uh, inside a new text file. And uh, you can install them one by one, opening a new terminal using sudo apt install, cd full, cmake, crl, and anything, any other thing else. Or just create a for loop script, uh, bash script here. It is completely easy. You can use for i in chat uh, this file name I needed here. And uh, you can say do uh, sudo apt y because it is going to ask me if I'm uh, agreed with installing or not. I'm going to uh, just tell the, uh, tell the script to be uh, to. Just do the work. It is. It means yes, and the job and installing all the dependencies will be automated. So, so that in so that dash y install dollar uh, i because I have defined a new uh, the new variable here and done. You can see it just needs my password just one time. And the packages will be read it line by uh, line by line, one by one, and uh, the work is going to be done because I have all of them installed. I'm going to terminate the process. I do not need to do that. You just need to install all of them after that. If you just run into any sort of problem, just search inside the Google. Uh, it just uh, it gives you a lot of uh, information about installing these dependencies. You can uh manage to install them so we do not need to work with this and let's get to work uh we need to extract it and going inside the cmh directory let's go inside the cmh directory uh we have a file the config user template just rename this file to config user i'll just remove the template here open this file uh in inside an editor sorry for that not this file maybe config user let's make uh no 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 uh just going to undo that oh sorry we need to make a new file 
uh, yes, with the config user dot I'll just copy this file and rename it to config user dot image and uh, delete all of it inside and just create uh just copy copy this these lines here copy inside the file yes uh installing the uh cmake uh on the default directory to be inside uh i'm i use the roots directory apt uh you can choose other directories you need but uh it, it is nothing important it's just uh, easy to back up and out of eyes uh, so uh anything wrong might might not might not may not happen to you sorry for that and uh, you just need to give the gshh pass i'm going to use the data slash gshg uh that just means uh, that means this directory we are inside it and uh no 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 sorry for that double dot yes because we are inside the cmake directory and find the directory back and we can see the gsh so uh double dot the gsh directory and the pass to dcw you need to use double dot slash dcw you need to close the parentheses i do not know why this was hidden and um, everything is okay this is done and just uh, open a terminal here we need to create a new directory inside here you need to create build mkdir build will make a directory with the name of build here and let's go inside the build and just you can see we are now inside the build and inside the build let's do this command cmake double dot cmake double dot I, uh, if i'm Correct. Uh, yes, CMA. Double dot. Yes, and uh, it is somehow just like the GMT4. It is just going to. Uh, it is uh, somehow a, com uh, a configure file. It is going to see if uh, dependencies are installed on your system. If all of them completely working on your system, you have. Uh, you have. Uh, you don't have anything missing. For compiling the GMT file, and uh, it it just it just doesn't uh, take some uh, take so much. It just uh, it will be done in a couple of seconds. It doesn't take too much, so we are going to wait, uh, and the job will be done. I think it might be the end of the job here. We just have to wait some seconds here. You can see some dependencies uh, are needed here, and it says found, 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 found. It, they, uh, they are all installed on my system. You just need to install all the dependencies I just uh, gave you. I just shown you here in, inside uh, my data. It was the dependencies. Uh, yes, I, I just have the file here. Yes. Yes, all of them. If you have all of them installed, there shouldn't be any kind of problem. Yes, everything is done. It says the GSHH found, the DCW found, and everything is completely fine. There is no error or the problem. So uh, let's just continue the script. It says make and make install because we are installing inside the apt, uh, inside the root. We need to use the sudo with the make. So Let's just compile the program. If you use make, it's just going to uh, do the job. And uh, it, it may take something uh, due to your due to your system processing, system config, uh, your RAM, your CPU, many other things else. It might take some minute uh five minutes to 30 minutes uh, half an hour um but the, uh, if you have all the dependencies installed installed there wouldn't be any problem for you
and you can see that the job is completely done you have, we do not have any errors inside the compiling you can see this is the configuration this is the compilation and um, everything is completely done build target gmt the gmt5 is completely built so just using sudo make install will install gmt inside the apt directory i'm going to give the password sorry wrong password and you can see it is being installed yes everything is done you just need to add these lines to your basher c so let's just do the job i'm going to use a new uh, directory i'm going to change to home directory to put the basher c inside the home uh, you can use a graphical editor like gedit and let's open the basher c it is hidden so you have to use the dot basher c in the end of your bash so just copy and paste those lines and i just need to change it because my folder name is gmt5 i think let's just see uh if we go inside the, uh, the roots the opt yes i have gmt5 so the name must be the same this is just a string it doesn't matter uh what you put what you put inside the string it doesn't matter just uh going to sorry for that and everything is done go back to that yes source uh, that basher seed because the basher seed must be read it if i if, if you use gmt psxy i think this is gmt6 yes no 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 this is the gmt5 uh it is completely installed for a test i have a file here uh let's just see our file no i have the folder open here yes uh the ps course is somehow troublesome so if if this works correctly all the other codes and the options will work just fine let's just open a new terminal here and uh, yes copy and paste the code Command not found oh, because uh, we have to use a GMT with the lowercase letter. Yes, and the plot is here. You can see the plot is much more lovelier than GMT4. Uh, and everything is just fine. And you can see you have compiled the GMT4, the GMT5. Uh, it, it, it has completely no problem but i always suggest everyone to just be up to date it may be somehow difficult for you because gmt 4 5 and 6 uh, and uh, gmt 3 also uh, they have a, a simple minor changes inside the syntax of every code the codes are the same but the syntaxes are somehow different uh, but uh, if you just be up to date you can uh work better in the world because being updated is the most important thing you can do so just install the gmt6 uh, and it will be completely done so oh uh, this is how you install the gmt uh five please if you have any other questions just uh comment in my video and i will be answering you uh if i, I if i have any solution for that i will answer you or i just uh search about that to give you the best solution for your problems thank you for your attention